All right, on to number 14. Shumma awilum. Shumma awilum. Okay, our eyes are used to it by now. Mar awilum. Tseech raam tsechram. Ish ta ri ik ishtarik. Id da ak. Id dak. Okay, so we can bypass uh, our Shuma Awilam down here and go up to the rest. We notice a couple things. All right. We notice here we have mar as the logogram, uh, which we're going to normalize according to the Sumerian dumu. It's our only logogram here. So mar a we lim. Uh, this is interesting here. Let me use a different color just to, for fun. Can, this is our world. We can do anything we want in our world. A nice happy limb here. Now, when we see limb, um, this character we know as she, right? We know as she, but it has another uh, reading, and that is also limb. Okay, going back to the way in which it could be read in Sumerian, we have all these different uh, permutations. Uh, well, not permutations, maybe iterations of the way in which the character is vocalized. So don't. Don't um, forget that. It's not Shuma Awilshi or Shuma Awishi. It's Shuma Awilim. Lim. Okay, so that'd be a, a limb reading. Tsechram, uh, probably familiar to you from Hebrew, uh, Sa'ir, uh, a small one, a small person. So if a man, and then Mar Awilim, Tsechram, Ishtarik, Ishtarik, Shuma Awilim, Mar Awilim, Mar, uh, yeah, Shuma Awi Lum, Mar Awi Lim, Tsechram, Ishtarik. If a man has stolen, okay, don't forget to do your parsings. This would just be a G perfect from Sharaku. Um, if a man has stolen a man's son who is small or a small man's son, basically a, 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 a son who's a child, right? Um, interestingly, you're going to see lim here, and so the I am ending normally is going to indicate a, a different case than what it matches, and it's actually just an accusative case, or it's the direct object is probably better to say, where you know it requires an am ending, but because it's in construct, it's mar awilim, the son of the awilo, um, it takes the genitive ending when it follows the bound form or the construct, okay? So don't get confused by that. The mar awilam sechram are actually uh, together here. And then finally, iddak or iddak, we see all the time from duaku um, or daku, depending on which dialect you prefer. I suppose it's daku in Old Babylonian. So what you have then is um, this n stem, you know, he shall be killed, or he shall be smitten, is probably the better way to say it. He shall be struck down. Um, there you go. Yeah, that's nice, short, and sweet. I think there's a lot of easy signs um, to get in this one. So go ahead and practice it. And um, don't forget, like when you see the oddballs, you know, these logograms, um, or when you see these odd characters, they're good chance they may be logographic. But if well, maybe they're not odd for your eyes yet. Maybe everything's odd. Um, keep up the good work.